Hello and welcome to another reveal of a Papercraft Society box. This month's box has a beautiful Christmas theme and it's designed by Claire Rowland of Daisy May Stamps. So I'm really excited to get in here because I know that Claire always does hand-drawn images and I think maybe we're looking at a few of them on the front of the box here, a little sneak peek of what we can find. So we are talking about Christmas because it's that time of year. Let's just, I love the foiling on the front, I think it gives it such a luxurious feel. So first of all we've got a Craft for the Love of Colour, Design and Creativity from Claire. I love the inside of this box as well, it's beautiful isn't it, with all that holly in there. Now as always I haven't been in here yet, so um, what I'm getting here, what I'm um, pulling out is exactly how you're going to see it as well. So we always get our booklet in here. Now this is usually um, 30 something pages of inspiration, projects, uh, usually letting you know a little bit about Claire as well. There we go, so she's got a little bit there from herself and um, the contents there and then going into some beautiful inspiration, gorgeous, gorgeous imagery, photographs, step-by-step -step projects throughout so um, I won't go into that too much I want that to be a surprise for you so we'll pop that there but of course that's the lovely Claire on the front there so now Claire always has her like um, tartan or played images as the um, packaging for her usual dies and stamps so it's really nice to see that she's continued that theme in the wallet and um, some other design elements in there as well let's pop that to the side as always I'm sure there's yeah you can see there's some more things under there but um, this is what I love looking through. I know there's always going to be so much in here. Always good quality as well. So great for storing everything in because you have the Velcro fastening. So let's open this right up. Okay, I'll take things out of packets where I can because of course my light's shining on them. Um, so we have, don't forget to share your makes with us at Papercraft Society. Yes, absolutely. Do use that hashtag there if you're doing any of these. And you can then... Also follow the hashtags and you can see what other people are making with the same kits. So from Claire we've got craftiness is happiness, creative minds inspire others and you can't use up creativity, the more you use the more you have. That is so true. So first of all we've got some papers here, let me take this out the packaging so that oh we've, I think we've got more than just papers in here, let's have a look. So we haven't got the shine on them. So gorgeous, that, that same pattern that I love on the front of the box. We've got two sheets. They're a lovely weight of paper. It's almost cardstock there. So we've got two of the red and white, two of the holly as well. Oh, this is different. That's beautiful. I love this. So we've got like this um, craft, very natural paper, almost like the brown wrapping paper you have at Christmas, um, like the parcel paper with some buttons and some stitching on. That would make a gorgeous card front or um, a layer for a scrapbook page or a mini album. We've got some beautiful little red robins there, red-breasted robins, they are gorgeous. And then this is what I could see at the back. So we have, is there one there? Yes, it's one, it's one really thick cardstock piece. Um, these are gorgeous, aren't they? So you've got the sentiments, we've got um, Happy Christmas, with love, merry and bright, season's greetings, peace, love and joy. They are all die cut for you, so as you can see, you can just pop them out. They've got that beautiful stitching around the edge and that distressed edge that is so typical of um, Claire's Daisy May products. I love that, I think that's absolutely beautiful. Pop those back in the wallet. The wallet's always so handy for storing everything. Let's look, in fact, I'm going to take one of these so we can see what these stamps look like clearly. I'll just pop that behind. They are beautiful. So, yes, yeah, so these designs are similar to what's on the front of the box. Um, with Claire, all hand-drawn, of course. Beautiful. We've got some buttons up there. They will come in really handy for making your own embellishments. Now, I can imagine putting some glossy accents over those, maybe. We've got a little holly sprig, but then we've got the branch of holly there as well. Um, a bow, special delivery 25th. Maybe that can go onto the um, front of the post box there. Um, Christmas wishes, happy Christmas. We've got the bird bath there. Of course, it's frozen with the snow and the snow on the ground. I think this is absolutely beautiful. Now, I'd definitely be tempted 
to be snipping into this once it's been stamped so that there's actually a, a lifting up element or a, a hole there to um, look as if it's a letterbox with a gap in the front. That's just me getting crafty there. Um, the poinsettia is beautiful as well. Of course, you've got the pine cones and the sprigs there as well. Um, the lantern, just absolutely beautiful. I love those designs. So let's see, usually what we get with Paper Craft Society very often is, yes, we have with this one, brilliant. I love these outline dies. So just to match up with the stamps, we have the outline dies here. So we have, you can see the post box there. You can see we've got the lantern and we've even got the hold there that will go in the, uh, I'm presuming in the top there. So we've got, oh no, of course that's the button, isn't it? You can see I've not looked at this before. I absolutely love this. We've got the poinsettia, so you can do huge corners and borders of poinsettias if you want to. The holly branch there and the individual sprig as well, the bow there and of course the bird. This is beautiful, absolutely lovely. I can see so many Christmas craft projects coming from this kit. And of course now is the perfect time to think about doing your Christmas crafting, isn't it? It may be sunny outside and warm, but we want to get ahead of the game and make sure we're all ready in time to start posting things off. So let's have another look inside this box and see what's under here. So we have in crafting, there are no mistakes, just unique creations. I love Claire, I love Claire, I love the thing she says. The colour pencil guide. Okay, so I'm I'm going to presume that um, we've got some, maybe some colour pencils in here. I'll have a look at that in a moment. So um, are, are watercolour pencils. Okay, that's interesting. So there's lots of tips and techniques on here for using watercolour pencils. Um, lovely green wrap. Of course, you've got your Paper Craft Society tag. Now, oh, here we go. Look, gorgeous. So we've got, let's start our drawing. So we've got one, two, three, six coloured pencils there. Now I am sure that within this project book that we've got here, we're going to have lots of different projects using these pencils and using the tips on the card as well. You're going to be able to start colouring in in a way you've probably never experienced before. Um, Claire's colouring I know is absolutely beautiful. So they're full size pencils, um, they're wooden so of course you can sharpen them with what you've got at home. Um, fake snow, this is brilliant. I've seen glitter before and I've seen that puffy um, puffy liquid glue sort of thing that puffs up but I've never actually seen fake snow this is fantastic so you can put that on your cards it really does look like snow doesn't it brilliant can't wait to get crafting with that um, I love this so it's like some hessian wrap there and um, there's quite a lot on there shall I just have a little unravel I'm going to be opening it up soon anyway so I may as well let's see so there's a lot and it's, I, I mean, I've, I've barely touched the surface there. There's an awful lot on there, isn't there? Um, I would say probably a couple of metres maybe at a guess, um, just looking at it. So there's loads and loads you can be playing with there. Beautiful trim for your uh, sort of rustic Christmas cards and some twine here as well. Again, I'm not going to unravel this one. Um, I can see there's an awful lot on there as well, but the colours, of course, match absolutely perfectly. And then we've got our cardstock, coordinating cardstock. So let's just have a look at this. So we've got that red, of course. We've got some white. Of course, white, it's, it's all smooth, so it's absolutely perfect for um, stamping on and then colouring afterwards. We've got a lovely green, oh, and we've got some watercolour paper as well, of course. This watercolour paper has got that texture, so there's four sheets there of watercolour paper. So you can stamp on that and then do your watercolour pencil colouring as well. But I love this. I think this is absolutely brilliant. I love that Claire's included watercolour pencils rather than any sort of colouring pens. Um, I know we had some um, normal pen, what we call normal pencils before in one of the boxes, um, but I've not seen the watercolour pencils before. So that is definitely something to get trying. And with that fake snow and everything as well, this is just going to make some absolutely stunning Christmas cards. Isn't it? So just pop everything back in the box. I love to keep the boxes all piled up together as well. So there's that little sneak peek into 
this month's Paper Craft Society box. Um, you're going to love it just as much as I do. I cannot wait to get crafting with it because there's so much in there. And with all those projects that are in the booklet, you're never going to be lost for inspiration. If you'd like more information about Papercraft Society boxes, please do visit papercraftsociety.co.uk.